Hello, I welcome you all to this programming session on Python programming. In today's uh, session, we'll be discussing about file handling. We'll be continuing uh, from the part uh, where we left in the previous video. And in today's uh, lecture, I'll be discussing a few programs on file handling. So let me begin with a program uh, to copy only those lines from a file which begin with an uppercase letter to another file. So we've got a text file and we've got some uh, text in it. And I want to copy all those lines from this file into another file which begin with an uppercase letter. So for this, I have taken up a sample file. Say, uh, I'll be just opening that file for you guys. Say abc.xyz. Uh, I beg your pardon, abc.txt. Now, uh, this contains six lines. Uh, and I want to copy all those lines which begin with an uppercase letter. So I want to copy hi. Where are you these days? When can we meet? So I want to copy only these three lines to another file xyz.txt through my Python program. So obviously I uh, need to open the files in the various modes. So let me just begin a Python session for you guys. And let me open up a program for you, say program one. So uh, the purpose is written there to read from a file abc.txt and transfer all uh, all transfer all lines which begin with an uppercase character to another file xyz.txt. So uh, this abc.txt would be my source file and this uh, xyz.txt would be my destination file. So I need to open abc.txt in read mode and xyz.txt in write mode because I want to write to this file and the pointer I have used for the file abc.txt is f and for xyz.txt is g. So first me, uh, let me just now read from this file uh, abc.txt say in a string s is equal to uh, f dot read lines that's it. So and then I can parse this as using a for loop and I can take the help of a function which you all are familiar with. So I am going to test uh, the first character of each line whether it is in uppercase or not. So if, if it is so, I will write this. I will write this to the file g. And then I would close both the files. I hope the concept is clear to you all. Uh, first of all, for IANS when the loop starts, I will have the first line. And I0 is the first character of the line. It is checked whether it is uppercase. If it is uppercase, then this I is written into the file, which is being pointed by the pointer G. So let me, uh, and we can also print a message here. And we can run this program now. And we see that the lines have been copied. So now to actually see whether the copy has been uh, done or not, let me go to the files. And let me open up these files for you. Uh, one file was abc. This is my original file. Okay. And the file that I created is this. So obviously you can see it contains all the three lines which begin with an uppercase. So let's now discuss uh, another program. Let's uh, discuss this uh, program to generate random numbers between 500 and 1000 and store them in a file. Let's uh, discuss this program now. For this, uh, let me open up a program for you. So uh, in this program, I'm going to generate 15 random numbers between 500 and 1000 and store them in a file. So obviously to generate random numbers, you need to have this randint function. So I've written from random import randint. So in this uh, Python program, this 
a randed method would be available for use. Then I open a file rand.txt in the write mode so that the file is created. Then I have a for loop which goes from 1 to 15 and uh, this line x is equal to rand int uh, would generate a random number between 500 and 1000 and since it is in a loop which runs 15 times so 15 such numbers would be generated and each number is written to the file obviously the number must first be converted to a string and then I've also attached a space with this so which is uh, also written into the file so let me run this program for you and it says numbers generated Let's now go and locate that file rand.txt. So we can see that the random numbers have been generated. 15 random numbers have been generated. So let's let's now do one more task. Let's count how many of these numbers are even and let's print those even numbers. That should be our next task. That should be our next program. So I'm opening up that program for you guys. So uh, I'm going to read from the file rand.txt and count and print the number of even numbers which are present there. So obviously for that I need to, uh, I, uh, I don't need this line I think, this is not required here. And uh, I need to open the file in the read mode rand.txt so that I can read numbers from it. And then obviously f.readline, I would read it line by line and I would split the space because we have the space also with that. So uh, now. Uh, since it is stored as a one uh, this uh, line with spaces so this split would remove those spaces and s now would be having all those numbers so now i can parse it in this for i in s and then i can check whether the number is even or not and if it is so then i can uh, increment my even uh, variable and i can print the uh, number on the screen as well and then i can uh, display that the total number of even numbers are there. So let me now run this program for you and you can see that in that run we had uh, six even numbers generated. Okay, So uh, let's run that program which is generating the numbers once again and let's see if the variation is there in the random numbers generation. Let's see uh, what is the change now. So now in the previous run there were 6 random numbers generated, in this run there are 10 random numbers have been generated. So like this you can, you may write any number of programs using file handling and uh, in my next video on file handling I will be discussing about the binary files, uh, the concept of serialization I will discuss with you and how we can handle the binary files in Python. Thank you.